We're Your Nation News is back and excited for a great school year. School is officially back in full swing, and that means fall sports are as well. Our football team is gearing up for their first home game against Texas High Friday night. We caught up with Coach Nicholson to find out how the team is feeling ahead of the game. It's going to be a tough one for us. We have a good opponent coming in Texas High, uh, 5A school. You know, Historically, they've been pretty solid. Got a lot of athletes on the field that have uh, you know, big-time offers all over the country. So it would be a good t uh, test for us. I think the biggest thing for us is just you know, not worrying about that, just you know, staying focused on ourselves, controlling what we can control. Um, and the biggest thing is you know, it's all about the Warriors and nobody else. Liberty is currently ranked number one out of all private schools in the state of Texas after their dominating performance against Fort Bend Christian last week. But the defending state champions will have their work cut out for them as the 5A Texarkana team is coming off a win of their own. This team's obviously very good. We know it doesn't really matter as much as who we play. I think if we do our job and play our best, I don't think there's a team in the state that can stop us. We really game plan a lot this week, uh, put a lot of new plays in, a lot of defensive plays in to scheme them. And I feel like we'll be over top tonight. I know they have a ton of good talent on their team, but so do we. You know, they've got a good running back, uh, good receivers, good D-line, you know, but we practiced all this week and we're ready to go out there and, you know, show them what a private school can do. Kickoff is set for 7 p.m. Friday night at the Warrior Stadium. The theme is Blackout. Be sure to come out early for the tailgating event in the fan zone behind the visitor side of the Warrior Stadium before the game. Volleyball has had an amazing start to their season, already playing more than 25 games and winning most of them. The girls are getting ready to take on one of their longtime rivals, Prestonwood, in less than two weeks. We caught up with a couple of our seniors to see how they're preparing for the game. We're just like really excited to like showcase our talent and all the practice that we've been preparing for. I think it's definitely going to be a challenge. I think we just need to like stay calm and just remember that we've been like working for this moment. We're all going to be excited. It's just going to be a big game, but yeah, we're really excited to face them. Yeah, we've been putting a lot of work in at practice, and we've been watching film on them and making sure that we know what we're going up against and that we're prepared for them. The Warriors take on Prestonwood Thursday, September 17th at 6 p.m. at Prestonwood. More than 150 colleges from all over the country will be on campus for our annual college fair next Monday, September 9th. Representatives will be on hand to share information about their schools and answer any questions that you might have. Seniors will be released at 12.30 to hear a guest speaker and have lunch in the Warrior Union. Juniors can go to the fair during lunch or advisory and sophomores are welcome to go as well, but they will need to bring a parent with them. To celebrate the college fair, students are allowed to wear their favorite college shirts with jeans on Monday. While some of you may still be deciding where to go to college, several of our seniors have already committed to certain schools to play their sports at the next level. Kenzie and Evelyn talked with two of them to find out how they're feeling about their big decisions. Hey guys, I'm here with two of our college commits who have committed to play their sport at the next level. So CJ, you've committed to Rice University for football. How do you feel about this opportunity? Um, I'm honored for this opportunity and I'm just thankful for the next uh, four years and just uh, I want to thank all my coaches and it's really nice to see all the hard work pay off. Sydney, you've committed to play softball at the University of Central Oklahoma. It must feel so good to see all your hard work pay off. Yes, all the hard work was definitely worth it, and I'm just so excited to play this war I love for the next four years. Congratulations, guys, and we wish you the best. And just a reminder, if you don't know what school you're going to go to, um, there's a college fair Monday, September 9th. I'm Evelyn. And I'm Kinsey with Warrior Nation, Nation News. News. As a senior, it seems like the year is already starting to fly by, and college will be here before we know it. But I know there's still so many fun things in store for this year. Events like Senior Retreat are what make this senior year so special. This year's Senior Retreat was no exception. Here's what some of our seniors had to say about it. Um, it was really great. It was a good experience. Like being a new student, it's kind of like hard to make friends, but everyone was so like welcoming and like they all just made it so fun. My favorite part about Senior Retreat was on Saturday after chapel when I killed Coach White in a basketball game. My favorite moment was um, after worship and the message of night one, uh, me and my like best friends got to talk outside and just talk about how great it is how we found our group of people yeah i agree and then also tribal comp was really fun and especially all the fun and interesting games we had to play one of the most fun senior traditions here at liberty is senior assassin and this year's game is well underway the eliminations are starting to pile up chase garnett noah gear maxine and henry deroche are just a few of those recently eliminated a newly formed alliance of senior guys who like to call themselves riz bobs are said to be major threats in this competitive game. Some of the members include Turner Riley, CJ Winton, Max Hines, Matthew Greenwood, and their leader, Evan Wells. Evan, you're out next. Make sure you are cautious and stay strapped in those floaty seniors. Good luck. If you love video games, you'll want to listen to this next story. Liberty has just started its first ever eSports League where students will compete against other teams 
from different schools in various games. It's all being done as a part of the brand new eSports division of TAPS. Here's Reagan and Ella with more. If you love video games, then you may want to consider joining Liberty's new eSports League. We're here in the brand new eSports League Lounge where students will be competing weekly in a variety of different online games. I'm excited to, you know, play, play some video games with my friends at school and get a state championship ring. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, uh, getting coached by Mr. Thurber. He's a like, great gamer and stuff, and we're going to make it far in the Rocket League section. The league is a brand new addition to TAP's competition this year. Now, let's head over to Monte where she's standing by with the league coordinator. Hey guys, I'm here with Ms. Mitch, she's in charge of eSports. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure, TAPS has started a league with eSports where teams from all over TAPS play each other in online gaming, just like they do in football and basketball. This isn't just about games, right? There's more to it. That's right. So they're learning things like collaboration, problem solving, critical thinking while they're playing games. They can review their games and coaching sessions before they play another school the next week. Thanks for talking with us, Ms. Mitch. Back to y'all. Thanks, Monse. If you're interested in joining the Liberty Esports League, make sure to see Ms. Michalak in the Strive Center for more information. The league practices after school. I'm Reagan. And I'm Ella with, with Warrior, Warrior Nation, Nation News. News. If you're interested in joining, just go talk to Ms. Michalak as soon as possible. That's all for this edition of Warrior Nation News. Thanks for watching. I'm Macy. And I'm Caitlin. We'll, we'll see, see you next time, Warriors. Warriors.